morning it's currently 8 35 um we're still in buenos aires in the main um center of the town actually um it's pretty cloudy today it's it was really sunny for the last two days but it's really cloudy today so maybe there it might rain um but it's still really warm it's still like 25 26 degrees which is lovely um sorry if you hear some noise it's probably emma she's in the bathroom getting ready our main thing we're doing is getting our first bus our overnight bus which I'm a bit nervous about because we don't really know what to expect and we don't know how much sleep we're actually going to get so that will be interesting um but we're heading to Puerto Iguazu today which is where you go to see um Iguazu Falls um but before that we've got a few errands to run so we're having to go and get some more cash out um because everything's cash in Argentina um, we have to get some snacks for the bus. At the bus station, the man said that the bus didn't include food, even though we've, we're going for a kind of more of a life flat bed, or hopefully a bit more life flat bed. Um, and it said on online, it says it does include meals, and he said it didn't. So we're going to bring some food just in case, um, and lots of drinks. We're also going to do some sightseeing um, a bit before, because I think our bus leaves at three. Um, and you've got to get there slightly before to get on the bus. We are currently on our way to what might be the thing that Emma's looking forward to most doing. <laughs> so we're basically going to this bookshop which is in um, this old theatre. So it's apparently beautiful inside and it's massive. And Emma says she wants to buy a book so we'll see if she finds one. I wouldn't want to carry it but she wants to take it all the way home with me. That's true, that's very true. somewhere that's more of my speed. So one of the things I'm listening to is the Harry Potter video books while I'm away. But it's very easy and I thought it would be really good for um, bus journeys. What are they called? Boxes. The boxes, yeah. <laughs> can tell I'm not a theatre girl. And they have a cafe in here as well. It's actually quite cool. I lied. I think I found the place that's more my speed. I think I could probably just about read this. <laughs> 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 but the one thing that's a bit annoying about this bookshop is that there are no prices on the books mm. and because the currency keeps changing like with inflation you've got I guess the book prices are always changing they do have these things here so we'll see oh maybe it does work oh it does work 3,000 an inch is apparently I have to explain which book I've got yeah it was at the end of one of the rows so I guess it's good and it's also an Argentinian author and it's in Spanish which are two of my reading goals for this year so um tick <laughs> Emma has like proper reading goals where she like reads how many books are you is your goal to read this year it's only 52 this only year. 52 last year was 80 so. I'm lucky if I probably do about five <laughs> I do like reading I just to be honest I hope that to read more while we're away for so long we've been here for All three days and how much reading have you done none but we've been we've been busy we have been busy 
and on the bus I'm going to listen to audiobook hopefully if I don't fall asleep so we have about two and a half hours until we need to get on the bus so our next bit we've got to find is some food for the bus uh, we're thinking maybe like a sandwich for this evening some crisp and things so, and then we've got to get breakfast for tomorrow as well so we're currently in the taxi and we are heading to the main bus terminal to get our first overnight bus emma how are you feeling i'm already tired <laughs> and i don't think we're gonna get much sleep <laughs> So maybe we'll be napping throughout rather than a little one long sleep. Yeah, hopefully. We're at the bus station and our bus has just been announced. I'm actually sitting right in the right area because the bus will be coming here. Which is really exciting. It's the bus station. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just waiting for the bus to arrive and then go from there. I hope it's on time because it's supposed to be here. We're supposed to leave in less than 20 minutes. I found the love of my life. Um, <laughs> we didn't understand much, but he definitely said, are you married or single? And then asked so. me again, <laughs> which is hilarious. Um, but we've got, I think I'll show you the seat later, um, once we get a bit more settled and know a bit more about what we're doing. Whilst we were watching our journey, we thought it would be helpful to explain how we got our bus tickets. On the first day we arrived in Buenos Aires, we went to the terminal to Omnibus in Retiro to buy our bus tickets. This station is massive and the ticket desks are separated into the region you are travelling to. We had to head most of the way down the long building towards the signs to Norte, which means north. We had done some online research beforehand using BusBud so we knew that the bus company Viatac, which is also known as Via Bariloche, would be going to Puerto Guazu on the day we wanted it to. The tickets ended up costing us around £35 each, and that's with the blue dollar rate. It would be significantly more without. You will need your passport to buy tickets, so make sure you have that with you. You can probably buy your tickets on the day and still manage to get a seat, but the online information isn't completely accurate and the bus times do seem a bit random, so it's definitely a good idea to go to a bus station at least a day before you plan to travel. We have decided that we're going to start buying our bus tickets to leave as soon as we arrive in a new place so that we can save some time and potential stress. If this feels too risky for you, you could always buy tickets online using BusBud, but they do add extra fees, so it might not be the cheapest option. The bus got pretty full, with most passengers actually being local, and only a handful of tourists going all the way to Iguazu Falls. The Argentinians were so prepared for this long journey. They had ice coolers with food and drink, and they also had thermoses filled with hot water to make the national drink yerba mate. They also had lots of pillows and lots of blankets. We were super jealous. <laughs> we haven't braved the bathroom yet. I think we have to just to try. No, I think we've got to try. So a guy just the driver just came on to upstairs and I think Emma's translation, he speaks very quickly, is whether or not there's gonna be a break for ten minutes or whether we're just gonna stop or whether the lights are gonna turn off in ten minutes. We don't really know. You did say you. something about buying something. Yeah. You definitely said something. I think there's going to be a break. Emma's getting her shoes on. I might stay just in case 
um, it starts going off without her. <laughs> so. <laughs> so in the end, we both got off the bus because we needed to stretch our legs. When we asked the driver how long we would be at the stop for, he said four minutes. In the end, it was a bit longer than four minutes, but definitely less than 10. So probably not enough time to go to the toilet, but definitely enough time to get some food from the shop. The next video will be all about our trip to the spectacular Iguazu Falls. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of our adventures in South and Central America.